rainbows and happy new year. We are back with a, another episode of the royal family and as you guys saw from the intro, we have finally had Amira meet Azara for the first time and they have already had a little bit of a confrontation or a lot of a confrontation. So we will be focusing on that in this episode. We'll be getting to that a little bit later. We'll also be doing some other stuff. We are going to focus a little bit on the Oasis Springs royal family, specifically Princess Arya of Oasis Springs. And then I'm also going to go through some of the relationships that have happened with you guys too. I also, I know this is really random, but I really want Queen Leilana and Prince Dean to try for another baby, just because I feel like they're really happy and she just became queen. So I don't know, I feel like they're really happy and they just want another child. And I have had a lot of Sims die from old age, just like around the different kingdoms and such. So I think that there is room for some families to have a few more kids. But again, we will come back to Amira and that whole situation later on in this episode. Actually, Amira is staying at the Selva Dorada Royal Family Palace for a week because she is getting to know her in-laws and spending more time with them and then also kind Kind of like a vacation, I guess, like a mini vacation too. I mean, that's a great way for her vacation to start, but we'll come back to her in just a little bit. If you guys saw my castle showcase video, I will be renovating or technically replacing the Oasis Springs Royal Palace. So I have moved in the Oasis Springs Royal family to their other palace. So they're staying here currently. So we'll be focusing on them in just a bit, but yeah, they'll probably be there for a few episodes just while I get there palace sorted out and everything, but we are going to be focusing on the Oasis Springs royal family because I did mention briefly in the last episode about if Arya should have an arranged marriage or not, and I do feel like Nea and Philip, because their marriage was arranged, I feel like they're pretty pro-arranged marriage because their marriage is so good and like they are really happy together, so I feel like they are very focused on finding a match for Arya. They're focusing, I feel like, on Arya specifically, one, because she's the heir and she's the eldest and I think we'll focus on the other kids and their marriages in a different episode. So I think a good match and this is who I want them to invite over for like a little lunch slash dinner thing would be the Earl of Oasis Springs. So this is Earl Jack and Countess Arya which has the same name as Princess Arya it's just spelled differently and then their son Lord Gabriel is around the same age as Princess Arya so I think that they would be really good together and a possible option. So we're gonna have their whole family over for lunch, including his sister, Lady Minerva. So they'll come over for lunch and they'll get to meet the family and see how well Arya and Gabriel get along. I do think that Nea and Philip, I don't, I don't think that they would make her marry someone that she wasn't happy with, but I think they're still into the whole arranged marriage thing to make sure their family has a good reputation on all that as well. Like it won't be an awful arranged marriage is what I think. So Nea has just invited over Lord Gabriel and his family for a dinner party. So they are now here. This is his mother, Lady Ari or Countess Arya. I don't know where she's going. I think it might be a little confusing. Let me know if it is too confusing that his mother's name is Arya as well. And then I'll try to come up with a nickname for her so you guys don't get confused. But his mother is Countess Arya. And then we have Princess Arya, which is the heir to the Oasis Springs Palace or not the Oasis Springs Palace the Oasis Springs throne. So Arya is meeting Lord Gabriel for the first time. What is this rainbow thing above her? Doesn't that have something to do with Selva Dorada? Okay, well now it's gone. But Arya is meeting Lord Gabriel for the first time. So this is Lord Gabriel. So again, he's I think a little bit younger than Arya, but they're around the same age. Arya is very similar to her mother Nea in the sense that she's very independent and she's also very confident. They do seem to be talking though and it looks like Arya's siblings are coming to meet them as well. We should probably have them go talk to his sister, Lady Minerva, as well. So I'm going to have them greet her. Actually, I think Lady Minerva might be around the same age as Prince Medwell, so that is another option. Okay, so I've had everyone move inside and chat. It looks like Prince Philip is talking to Earl Jack, and they're getting along pretty well. And then it looks like Queen Lindsay is talking to her grandchildren. I don't know where Nea and Arya went. There should be... Oh, they're coming up the stairs. So they're coming to join everyone. Oh, God. 
guys, look, Princess Arya and Lord Gabriel, they're in here by themselves. Okay, this is cute. Oh my, this is such a cute little room to, the sun is setting. This is so romantic. I know they're just children, but like, this is still romantic. They are so cute. I actually really love them together. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you think if you guys like Arya and Gabriel together. They are really cute. Okay, so it looks like Countess Arya has just became good friends with Queen Nea and Earl Jack has just became good friends with Prince Philip. So the parents are getting along really well too, you guys. Everyone's talking. Guys, this is adorable. So now we're going to call everyone to the meal so we can hopefully have everybody sit down. I was kind of thinking that either Kimberly or Aisha might be good with Prince Cornelius. I do want to mention too, because I mentioned this in the past, I feel like Prince Cornelius is not the most well-behaved child in the world. And I think that he's having a little bit of issues with school, issues with like, because he's hot-headed too, so maybe getting into fights with other kids. I think it might be having a little bit of a strain on Corinne and on Louis' marriage too. So we'll definitely focus on them in another episode. So everybody is sitting and talking and I guess Arya and Gabriel, I mean, well, their families are getting along really well. So I'm sure Nea and Philip are definitely pro this arranged marriage. Oh gosh, yeah, it looks like Gabriel and Arya, their relationship has gone up a lot. So it looks like they're already friends. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think they're getting along really well and I think they'd be really cute together too. I'm excited to see them when they turn into teenagers. I do think that all the kids, cause Arya and Prince Cornelius, they're pretty much the oldest out of like this group of kids, like this generation of kids. So they'll probably be turning into teenagers pretty soon. So I'm excited to see Gabriel and Arya when they turn into teenagers and how they get along. And then in another episode, I will have Kimberly and Aisha meet Cornelius and see which one of them get along with Cornelius better and see if that might be a match. So we're going to leave this here. So I did mention that I wanna go over and just fill you in on some of the relationships and some updates that have happened. One I will start with is that Makai has moved back in with his family in Sulani because he's helping take care of his parents who are elders and especially his father, he's not doing so well and he's kind of sick. So he just moved in with them. And then also Makai's brother Kona and Lady Aurora, they got married. So I don't think she's pregnant yet. Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanna do is make Leilana and Dean have a baby. So we'll do that in just a moment. But Aurora and Kona, I didn't make them try for a baby yet. So I'll probably be doing that pretty soon, but they got married just so you guys know. I actually have Makai. He is currently seeing somebody. So let's see, where is she? So Makai is seeing Lady Kayla of Brindleton Bay. They're not officially dating, but they have a romantic relationship that's getting pretty high. So he's currently dating right now, but again, he's just living with his family in Sulani just for a little bit, just to help take care of his parents, as I mentioned. So he'll probably return back to Windenburg and resume his role as the Royal Advisor of Windenburg once his parents either get better or once they pass away. They're probably going to be passing away pretty soon though, unfortunately. Another thing is I feel like Prince Michael or Marquis Michael and Marchioness Helena, I feel like they're not getting along very well now. Their relationship was kind of force because they had a romantic relationship when they were young. And then Marchioness Helena, she got pregnant with Lord J when she was a teenager. And then they were kind of engaged to be married at that point. So as soon as they turned into young adults, they got married and they had another kid. But I feel like they might be thinking of separating soon. I actually, now that I realize I've never had a royal or even really a noble get divorced. And it's just because there's so many relationships to keep track of. I just, I don't know, I never thought of of it. I know that with like the monarchs, like divorce is not really an option for them. Like it is, but they try their hardest not to get divorced. Unless you're King Henry VIII, but like we're, none of them are King Henry VIII. I just feel like with Marchioness Helena and Prince Michael, they might be separating soon. We'll see if they end up getting back together or if that leads to divorce. So we are now back with Amira, Jabari, and Izara at the Salvadorada Royal Palace. So, okay, so you guys saw from the short scene, this 
whole thing, I feel like Azara is actually really important because with Amira, I do feel like since her sister passed away, she has just completely changed and almost to the point where once she became heir, she wasn't actually sure if she could do it and if she would be a good monarch. So she's kind of just been doubting herself since she has gotten so paranoid. I do feel like she hasn't really faced her problems. So this is the first time that she's actually facing and confronting a problem, which is Azara. If you guys have seen the first season of The Royal Family, you know that Amira used to be super bossy and used to argue with people a lot and used to take charge. She was definitely a natural born leader, but I think that kind of all just went away just due to the family tragedy and stuff. So that's why I think this is really good that Azara kind of just egged her on, I guess. I don't think that Amira is going to be punching and shoving and fighting people in the future and as a queen I think that she just really needed to do this now but I do think she is telling Zara not to mess with her and if she messes with her and if she gets in the way then Amira is going to make that a big problem for Zara so I think Zara is finally backing down she realizes she did go a little bit too far she's also realizing that Amira has so much more power than Zara does but but yeah, I do think that Amira is finally taking charge and making sure that Azara never gets in the way of her happiness again because Amira has had so much happen to her and so many things get in the way of her happiness. So she is not about to let Jabari's ex get in the way. Jabari is also so irritated and I just feel like with him, it's a matter of Azara has this power over him. But in this case, he did try to get her to stop. I think that Amira just saw it at first and was like, I don't want to deal with this. I can't deal with this right now now and she was about to leave until she heard what Azara said and that just kind of egged her on. So I think Amira is now telling her to go away and Azara is leaving and hopefully won't be a problem for Jabari and Amira again. So she's gone. Amira is really happy that she's gone. She's still very angry though. I do think that Jabari is going to try to calm Amira down and apologize to her and just, I, you know what, they should probably go inside but basically just tell her like he did didn't think Azara was going to be this much of a problem and he's so sorry so he's trying to apologize to her. I think they'll make it through this guys. I think it's fine. This definitely started their little vacation and week off to a bad start but I do think that Azara has gotten the message, realized that Amira has so much more power over her, realized that she went too far and realized that Jabari and Amira are probably not going to break up. I think that Amira is just upset that he didn't and tell her the whole situation because now Jabari is telling her that he had tried or that Azara had tried to kiss him in the past. I think that Amira was just like, why didn't you tell me that part? Like you can tell me things, but it looks like Amira has calmed down now. It looks like she's feeling fine. So she is here now. They can finally start their week, hopefully. I mean, now it's morning time and she's been traveling all night to get here. But now she can come inside and talk with, it looks like King Cayman and Queen Zamora are here. All right. So Amira is finally inside and they are finally talking and things have calmed down. I think Jabari does need to vent and just say that Azara was just here and what happened. So he's pulling his brother aside while Amira is talking to Queen Zamora. So I think they are going to have a good week. I think they're fine. I think this was a little bit of tension and some drama on their part. But you know what? I don't actually think that Jabari and Amira had gotten into any big fight yet. And I think it might be good for the relationship to have an argument and get through it and see how things work out and just them getting through this. I think that they are probably going to have a good marriage too. I know a lot of people were saying that Azara might show up at their wedding, but I think that now she got the message and she won't. I'm sure she's going to try to come up with some other plan to be able to succeed in being the gold digger that she is. I'll bring her back at some point in another episode, but hopefully she won't cause any more problems for for Amira and Jabari. In the next episode, it will be Jabari and Amira's 
this wedding and I'm so excited for that. I needed to make sure I had enough time to do it. So that episode probably won't come out for another week or so because I am going to make it like a lot of cinematic scenes in it too. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. I'm trying to make it like the most beautiful wedding we've had. So I think you guys are going to like it. We'll have to see. We are now at the Sulani Royal Family Palace. So I, as I mentioned, want Dean and Leilana to just try for another baby. So I'm going to have them do that. And oh, it looks like Samaria and Makana, they need to go to school. I do think that Princess Le or Queen Leilana, oh gosh, I'm gonna keep calling her Princess Leilana because I'm so used to that. But Queen Leilana, she is probably going to make her cousin Kona and his new wife, Aurora, the Duke and Duchess of Sulani. And then I'm sure her other cousins, Leah and her brother, oh gosh, what's her brother's name? Keikoa, that's it, her brother Keikoa. I'm sure she'll give them a noble title or so, depending on who they marry. All right, so Leilana and Dean, I am now going to have Leilana take a pregnancy test. Okay, let's see, is she, <gasps> she's pregnant, yay! Queen Leilana is now pregnant and she's eating for two. So we'll get to see her have her baby in another episode and I'm so excited to do that. But I am going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Amira and her getting her confidence back and also any baby names that you have for Leilana and Dean's new baby. I do have a list of baby names and suggestions, but I of course can always add new baby names to that list. Let me know what you guys think of Princess Arya and Lord Gabriel as well. And if you think their arranged marriage could work out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.